this is Dana, and welcome to my channel. Today is Wednesday Wisdom, or Wisdom for Wednesday. Tomorrow on my live stream, we're going to be talking about what is in your refrigerator and your refrigerator freezer. So tonight, <laughs> because usually these videos I make are meant for me, primarily, and I just share them with you. But tonight, for the wisdom, I'm going to share some information that I got off of Pinterest about cleaning your refrigerator and refrigerator freezer. Um, I didn't do it the spring cleaning. They say to clean them twice a year, deeply clean them. I have stainless steel, so I do need to take care of that. And the first thing they say to do is to remove everything from the refrigerator. And um, that is a good idea. It cautions you, if you've got a big refrigerator, it might take a while and a whole lot of space. But... You need to remove everything so you can get to every nook and cranny in your fridge. And then, of course, you need to have a garbage bag there and toss anything that's expired. You need to clean up any spills. And then you need to do a mixture of baking soda and vinegar. And you can do that one of two ways. You can take a cup of baking soda and start with a couple of tablespoons of white vinegar until it makes a paste. And you, if your refrigerator is heavily soiled, then you probably need to make the paste. Or you can go ahead and do a spray bottle of the cleaning mixture, taking one cup of water and one cup of vinegar, and if you have any essential oils you want, you could spray them in there just to make it smell a little more pleasing. You need to apply your mixture and let it set. If you're using the paste especially, you need to let it set for 12 to 20 minutes, except for the drawers. And the drawers you need to take out and wash with dishwashing liquid. Also, you need to wipe down the surfaces with a wet sponge or cloth, rinsing it with water several times. And once the cleaning mix is all gone and the fridge is clean, wipe down the surfaces with a dry cloth and put everything back in. And so that's Fairly simple, a lot of work, but fairly simple instructions about what to do. And like I said, this is mainly directed at myself because I usually do a video on those things that I most need to take care of. And um, some of the cleaning videos and blogs suggested that you take and unplug your refrigerator and freezer, but I have what's supposed to be a frost-free freezer in my refrigerator, so I really don't think I want to do that, and um, we also have a water and an ice crusher and an ice cuber in the door of the freezer side. And so it's really not a good idea for me to do that at all. Uh, just that would be a big mess. But so if you have that situation where you have like a beverage center in the door, you can go ahead and do your cleaning, just not unplug it. However, if you've got one where you have to defrost, of course, you will have to unplug it to get that accomplished. Anyway, that's about all I have for today. I'll be doing a live stream tomorrow. We're going to talk about what's in your refrigerator and your refrigerator freezer. And I'm going to have a couple of questions to ask for you. 
Please remember to be kind to one another, and we love you. Bye.